expecting temperatures to get up into the 80s. And we are underway. Air Force won the toss and deferred. So Nevada, Dale quarterback, out of the pistol. In motion, McLean Mannix. He is the go-to receiver for Nevada. Set up the screen, left side. It's complete across the 30. First down yardage for Nevada. Ganji, now rolling right, puts it up. Near the first down marker, the pass is caught. And it looks like they may have themselves a first down to Kelton Moore. Third down, two yards to go. Going to run for it, Tawa. And he has stopped a yard short. So I like this decision here to go for it on fourth and one. Ninth play of the drive, four rushes, now five rushes, and that is a first down carry for the senior out of St. Francis High School in La Cañada, California. Now, Ganji's not the, uh, uh, you know, fastest guy in the world, clearly. I really want his completion percentage, which was at 56 coming in to go up. He's a perfect four for four. Now going up top with a wide open receiver. It's Elijah Cooks for a touchdown. Ganji completes the pass. A 40-yard strike has Nevada on the board first. Back end, and the play action just going to freeze the safety. You know, they're going to do a little play action on the reverse, and it comes right down the middle. And one of the free safeties just comes up in 188 yards, but the time of possession, that's, that's what kills you as a defense. Up the middle, good second effort. But they're going to mark him down just about in the original line of scrimmage for no gain. And 13 minutes later, the food's gone, and the guys are on to the rest of their day. On fourth down, no surprise, the Falcons get it. It's Caden Rensburg, and I'll tell you what, that's the 18th time this season already. Air Force is taking advantage of it. They gave Ronald Cleveland six yards on his first attempt. Run it right side, Josh Saucier. And he is pushed back for a loss. Another one is Dayon Henley, who has spent time at receiver this year, has been switched to defense starting this week. He's wearing number 11. Worthman spins through the first tackle, able to get out to midfield after a gain of three. You know, Ganji's off to a, a pretty fast start. Five for five passing so far early in this game. That's not going to work in Happy Valley this evening. On third down, play it conservatively with Kelton Moore just to give some room for the punt team. Ten-yard pickup. He grew up in Gator Country. He's yeah. from North Florida. On the reverse, nowhere to go. That was bottled up nicely. Ronald Cleveland dropped in the backfield. But we like to have more balance than in other air raid offenses. This is at 60-40. Off the play action fake, it's a completion to Caleb Fossum. First down pickup of 13 yards. Play fake, pass deflected, and falls incomplete. Well, they're trying to get Brendan O'Leary Orange, who's back from his concussion last week. Give it to the fullback for a first down. Cole Fagan, he's got a win over a Pac-12 team at Oregon State this year where he was very good against the Beavers. Tawa, a gain of one. Unlike some of the, the talented running backs they've had in the past, this guy is a fast, fast guy. Workman lost the football. The Wolfpack has it towards the end zone. Touchdown, Nevada! The strip sack is returned by Lucas Weber for a touchdown. The defense and a touchdown. Reno with the big play. And you're going to get the pressure off the edge there, of course, and, and, and the football just comes loose. An outside linebacker. First and goal from the 21-yard line. Ganji toward the end zone. It's intercepted at the goal line. A big play for the Falcons and a bigger return across the 30. He's across the 40. Still going. He's got daylight all the way to the house. Zane Lewis 
A 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. On the outside, off to his right, just got to put more air into this. Got to give your receiver a chance. He's going for the freshman, six foot six, Cole Turner. And Zane Lewis does a good job getting up for the football. And he gets some blocks down the field. He does. And he says, hey, let's go. That's Jordan Jackson, 94. He says, uh, we're, we're going to go to the end zone together, partner. Here, you see Turner, 19. Yeah, he's got to do a better job, too, going to fight for that ball and helping out his quarterback. But Zane Lewis, who happens to be cousins with Sean Springs, the former Buckeye. Ohio State Buckeye right. and, and NFLer, he looks like Sean Springs running this one back to the end zone. Quick fire, strike to the right side. It's complete. And a big play to keep Romeo Dubs from busting that one out. But it's a first down for the Wolfpack. In the first, but then it was his pick six that allowed Air Force to tie it back up. Toa Tawa breaks through a tackle. That's a big gain deep into Falcons territory a 26 yard pickup 105 pounds but watch him as he he sees the hole and he bursts through it breaks a tackle and if Jeremy Fetchlum doesn't come over here I'm not so sure this doesn't go to that pump fake Ganji up top he's got a man touchdown Wolfpack McLean Mannix the sophomore from Midland Texas on the receiving end of a 29 yard strike Typically, he's going to find the end zone. This is a little bit of a wheel crack and go as he tries to make the block. Time for the senior quarterback from Normal, Illinois. Cleveland, the motion man, takes the pitch, trying to find the edge. Can't get there. Maybe picks up two. And again, coming up short on third down, Asani Rufus with the stop. Three of the last four meetings between Ohio State and Penn State have been decided by seven points or less. So I think it's going to be a close one. On the reverse, a little trickery for Nevada, and it's a big gainer. First down. On the run, it's McLean Mannix. Used to have because the offense just continues to change and grow with a ball. Talked about. So I'm sorry. Uh, good about where the future is headed for the Nevada Wolfpack. Now that Nevada defense coming after Worthman, we've got flags down everywhere. Worthman still fighting for yardage. We may have multiple infractions on this play. It don't look like that team today. Worthman, nowhere to go. That is just one defensive lineman beating the man in front of him, Corey Rush, with the sack. Well, before you get the football back, again, it's a little bit of a twist and a stunt. And you see big number 98 coming in there. Of the end zone. Clean snap, and he's able to get it away. But with a minute 18 on the clock, Nevada should get the football with decent field position, although a big roll in favor of the Falcons. And we've got another penalty. The Falcons pick it up and run to the end zone. There was, I think there was kick-catch uh, kick, catch interference because the flag came out. 99-yard interception return. Flags down. Pass is caught by the running back, Kelton Moore. Out of bounds at the 30. Gets out of bounds, saves yourself a timeout. Nevada's on the move. That is the fourth decline penalty on Air Force. Angie to the end zone again. He's got a man. The defender fell down, and it's Brendan O'Leary Orange for six. A 30 yard touchdown. Very, very uncharacteristic of an Air Force football team in terms of fundamentals and being sound. And another play blown up by the defense of Nevada. In Nevada school history in terms of tackles. Second down and 22, straight drop. Worthman over the middle. It's a catch and a big first down for Andrew Smith and the Falcons. Explosive play, something positive to happen. And Workman finds his target right down the seam, and that's the freshman. They all sort of have their logo, and they take so much pride in being part of that, just like a fraternity. Here's Cleveland again, room to run. Inside the 30, twisting to the 24-yard line. And this looks like an entirely new offense here in the second half for Air Force. Earlier, in terms of getting some first downs, well, they need some home runs. And, and this is... This is nearly a home run here from Cleveland on the outside. 
A couple carries. Came back in 1977. Again, Notre Dame went on to win the national title. Double pass. Throwing back toward the corner of the end zone, trying to find Saucier. This is a 43-yard attempt, and it is good. Well, it's not a touchdown, but it's points, and it's the offense for Air Force. First and 10, off the play fake. Ganji with a clean pocket, throws a strike. It's complete to the freshman, Romeo Dubs. First down, Wolfpack. The Falcons have played much better in the second half and are driving the football here with their third-string quarterback, Donald Hammond III, leading the way. And then the defense stopped Nevada, held him to a 50-yard field goal attempt that was wide left. And so that's why the Falcons have the football back. They've also done a better job getting Caden Remsburg. Third and long. Hammond keeps. Gets to midfield, but he needed to get to the 45, and so that brings up fourth down and five. Have to go for it. Third string quarterback Donald Hammond the third. Cleveland the motion man. The pitch comes near side, and that's a first down for Air Force. Caden Remsburg. Nevada, he took a big time shot. Second and 10, Hammond, pitch. Remsburg's got some room inside the 40, still churning. Down to the 35 yard line, it'll bring up third down and two. Eight yard gain. Back to live action. Cleveland turns the corner, shoved out of bounds. Uh, out of all the quarterbacks. Again, we have not seen their starting quarterback, Isaiah Sanders. Their third string quarterback gets into the end zone. A nine yard touchdown run by Donald Hammond, the third. Take the offense, just a little speed option down the line. Let your blockers get in front of you. Where's Mannix in the slot? Go to your top guy. He's number one in white. Hand it off. What a call. And they get the first down and then some. Toe is still going. Wow, what a call. They come back with this delayed handoff, the draw to Tawa. And he ends up picking up the first down and more. And I love the physicality right there. Bam. Get off me, Fedulum. They get a stop. Ganji hands it off. And they get the stop. All right, so decision time here for Nevada. Ganji sets up the screen. Tossed it short. Incomplete. Air Force just two for 12 today on third down. Hammond, all time in the world to make that pass. He completes it to Bennett. Hammond fires over the middle, caught at the 30-yard line. It's another first down to Marcus Bennett. Looking to take the lead for the first time in the game. That one covered 19 yards. Throwing again and again, an open receiver inside the 15-yard line. Hammond making all the right decisions. And that ball's got some zip on it to the outside. They're from Washington. They're going after him a little bit here. Option, Hammond keeps. Lock continues to run with 90 seconds to go. Maybe a little bit of controversy as to who you start. Maybe it's not even a controversy. Maybe it's an easy decision. They need to get to the three-yard line for a first down. Incomplete pass. On third and eight. <laughs> Hammond in trouble. He gets rid of the football. It's incomplete. Bigger this year than this. Fourth and eight. Hammond has time to the end zone. It's incomplete. And Nevada gets the football back up by five. Now, if you're Nevada, you've just got to be secure with the football. You're going to snap that long road losing streak. And I'll tell you, Ganji, just making that pivoted handoff, is still hobbling pretty good. Second down and 11. Angus McClure, their assistant head coach. Had worked with the, the Long Beach Poly head coach at UCLA with Jay Norvell. 
young man who just received a scholarship during training camp boots it down the middle of the field Cleveland fields at his 20 hurdles a couple of defenders is brought down at the 41 yard line with 10 seconds on the clock at least 25 yards probably here Hammond fires incomplete the clock stops at six Hammond still with his eyes downfield fires it up inside the 15 inside the 10 and it falls incomplete with triple zeros on the clock.